All right, so let's uh, give intern some kind of uh, editorial account on the site or editorial permissions. I can tell you I still have blisters on my hands from yesterday, but it doesn't hurt very much. Uh, so that's good. Um, if we head over to people, we have a list of all the user accounts here and we have intern here. And uh, if we click on the tab called permissions, we can see all the permissions that are available right now on the site. And we can see that we have three groups of users. We have anonymous users, those are the ones who haven't logged in, the authenticated users, uh, they, those who have logged in, and some logged in users, uh, currently only one is also administrator. Uh, this doesn't really fit with uh, the intern having some kind of editorial role, so we're going to add that. Click on the sub tab here called roles. Uh, editor seems like a good name for that role. I'm adding that. And now I can either go back to permissions, um, let's actually do that, or click on the edit permissions link over there. Here we have a new column here saying what, uh, well, allowing us to uh, determine what editors should be able to do. And let's see, let's have editors um, administer blocks. Seems like a good thing. This is up to you, more or less. Don't, don't give uh, the editor any permissions that says warning. Give to trusted roles only. Uh, that is probably a bad idea. Uh, but most of the other uh, things here. Is a good thing. Administer comments, typically a good thing for an editor. Dashboard, sure. Develop module, no. Filter, all warnings, let's skip those. Administer image styles, no. Menus, menu items, good. Um, access control. I, I'm going to grant this to editors anyway because they're supposed to manage uh, content. Administer content as well, but not content types. That's kind of too big. And um, all right, and I'm gonna check all these checkboxes. This is the longest list of um, uh, options on a Drupal site. The permissions list. Um, <laughs> overlay path. Yeah, sure. Search. Why not? Shortcuts, why not? System, probably not. No. Taxonomy, sure. Uh, toolbar, yeah, sure. I missed this one. <sighs> Administer permissions, definitely not. Uh, users. I don't know. Probably not. I would probably have, on a real site, I would have some kind of super editor or chief editor or something that could, or site administrator, I don't know, that use, uh, manages users. So I'm going to leave this one unchecked. View user profiles, sure. Change own username, why not? Cancel own account, sure. Great. Save. All right, so now we have a new role called editor on the site, and we'll have to make sure that uh, the intern has this Role. So let's go back to the list here, <coughs> and now we can either click Edit here. Um, I'm going to open that tab in the background because I'm, what I'm going to do is check this one instead and just uh, do an update option here. Add the role editor to the intern. Update, and there we go. Now the intern is an editor. I could have opened the uh, uh, user account, edited it, and selected boxes here instead and saved. And that's it. See you in the next screencast.